that back of the loop, eight bars as well. The reason why I'm doing like this, like I explained, is that when it's time to lay this down, you want to go to another studio, separate it, you can just solo and let the sequence run. Go to the next track when it's done and, and, and solo the next track and have it so you can, you know, for the engineer, it makes it nice and easy. Which is another deal. Uh, in order to do that, you're going to have to synchronize this thing to it. Um, which is another story. When, when you get through, we'll go, you know, I'll take you through that when we get through to show you how to synchronize it to a, another MIDI device to make it slave or, you know, it's better to slave it to the device that you're recording to. Uh, we'll get into that later. We'll finish the sequence first. Uh, let me see. I'm going to get greedy here. I want another hi-hat on top of that. A different resolution. Yeah, higher resolution. So what I'm going to do is change my resolution up here. 30 second notes so I can get that you know that thing going on a little practice one erase over what I just did. I'm going to stay on the same track just to keep it so I have hi-hats. But <clears throat> if you want to separate them and put them on a different track, you can do it now that you see that, you know, how we're going along the tracks and put different sounds. You can do that. But I'm just going to go ahead and lay this in here just to, uh, you know, to finish this, to get the sequence going. Okay. Two bar count in. We're going to try this here. another track and get another sound going here. Um, go to track four. Um, let's get like a maybe some some filler sound, something spaced out here. Go to like maybe the sound effects page and just get something going underneath. Something else here. Yeah, just that. Something simple. Here. Uh, we're gonna hit record right to get the tempo and the metronome going. And we're gonna start. something going, whatever it is. You can actually go through this thing while it's running, which is cool too. Uh, we're going to go to track five. I'm going to press channel five, select the sound. I'm going to get uh, a bass sound, something. Uh, this one, I like this one, dark arm. That's a nice round thing going on with it. Okay, something like that. Just Keep it simple.
locate the beginning of the song, record right. After a while, it'll just be comfy. You just that's not gonna be anything to you. <laughs> more tracks and then I'll make a show you uh, the way I you know sometimes we cut <clears throat> the sequence or copy it to another sequence take some things out chain it together kind of make a song you know some things drop in and out come in um, that's another thing uh, you know questions people have so here's some answers uh, let's go to another track here just get like a little maybe a little melody going go back to program we're gonna go to a new track we're gonna go to track six now as we're going along you could name these tracks if you want to keep track of what's going on like we have your kick up top we can go back up top if you want you can go to menu track edit and you see on the bottom you'll see track name it'll let you go in hit select whatever you want type kick for that one whoops i'm sorry delete it first clear it out type kick the next you know, then go to the next track. But anyway, that's how you do that, so you can keep it. We're gonna keep keep moving. There we go. Back to this. We're gonna go to track six, I believe. Right. I want to find like some little melody type sound and put it there now. I'm going to go to track six, channel six, select, go to uh, maybe make lead synth sound or something. Um, let's turn that down a little bit. You know, it comes on loud. So you track mix up, go to track six, just bring it down. Here just to do uh, just to show you what's going on here. 